services. Well, we can speak to Councillor Barry Lewis. He's the leader of Derbyshire County Council and also the vice chair of the County Council Network, which represents most of England's county councils. So, Councillor, I'll just start by getting your reaction to the autumn, st to the autumn statement because you're critical of some of the Chancellor's plans. Yeah, um, and, well, we're critical of the, the lack of recognition of the, uh, the seriousness of the problem that faces local authorities up and down the country. There was an opportunity during the autumn statement to at least recognise that um, uh, local authorities are facing the most severe uh, sort of funding landscape that it's had perhaps for decades. But the Chancellor says that his focus, um, I read your statement from the County Council's network, and you talked about the fact that the Chancellor had some financial headroom to increase spending on services, but he argues that it was time to cut some taxes and put money in the pockets of some of families. What do you say to that? Was, was this the right strategy? Well, you know, I wholly agree. Uh, with uh, putting money um, in the pockets of, uh, of hard-working families across the country. I am a Conservative, as the Chancellor is, and greatly believe in that. Um, but I also believe in the value of good quality uh, public services, and that's what we as local authorities up and down the country, particularly upper tier authorities, who have responsibilities, no, statutory right responsibilities, across um, uh, adult social care, and children's services, and we, you know, we, we, we absolutely need to be able to uh, pr uh, provide those services. Um, if there is financial headroom, then you know we really need to give uh, some consideration to those very, very important services that we provide. And just tell me what the plan is for Derbyshire County Council. Where do you think you would have to cut in the services you provide um, to your citizens? Well, this is a, you know, we've, we're faced at the moment with an in-year um, deficit of around, at this moment in time, um, £33 million. We're hoping to bring that down before the end of quarter four. Um, so we're having to take, a, you know, sort of immediate action and, um, uh, and, and stop things like uh, recruitment um, at the moment, except in those areas where we absolutely need the staff, particularly um, um, home care workers and so on, um, to provide adult social care so we can keep people out of the care system. Um, that, uh, that helps us. But um, next year, you know, um, in the in the uh, autumn statement yesterday, there was um, the national living wage um, increase, which um, equates for us as a local authority uh, next year another four point four million pounds of costs on top of um, you know already very considerably um, high savings that we're having to make uh, as well. And I know that this is uh, playing out right across the country with the tier authorities that that um, increase is equating to 1% of council tax rise uh, next year for most local authorities. That's pretty significant for us, as I say, that's, you know, 4.4 million pounds getting on for 1% of uh, council tax uh, next year. That's something that we didn't have to worry about two days ago. Thank you.